All right, I'm gonna show y'all how to make a, uh, a CO2 generator. You need a bottle of water, like that much, the lid, a knife, some molasses, and a spoon to get some molasses with, and yeast. All right, I'm gonna explain what's happening. All right, molasses has sugary stuff in it, sugar. So. Yeast is a living organism. It's going to eat that sugar and turn it into CO2. And it's also going to eat the oxygen in the water bottle and turn it into CO2. And I'm going to water it down with the water so that the yeast can survive. So what you do, and we're actually, it's going to make alcohol also. But I'm not going to drink it. But this is how you would make alcohol. And then you put it in a still. But this stuff is super sugary. It's thick as fuck. So the yeast will be able to eat this for a long time. If we were moonshiners, we'd be calling this wash that we were making. And then you would take that wash and distill it into liquor. But we're just growing weed. Get a good amount in there, because you want it to maybe generate shit for maybe like two weeks, a month, if you're really lucky. But eventually, the yeast might die, or run out of sugar, or run out of oxygen, and they will die at that point. Alright, from here... You just shake up your shit so it's good and mix. And I'm gonna wash off this water bottle. I'm gonna splice two videos together. This will be the first one, and the second one will be me actually putting it with my plants. We do that. Put this shit in there. Up. I didn't think about it, but my hands are all sticking now. It looks almost like iodine. Alright. Then you take the yeast. You don't want to spill any. It's not going to do anything bad, you just don't want to waste it. You want to make sure you only open one bag too for the same reason. Because you could use these bags, if you keep all three of them separate, you could use it for three months possibly. Alright. I'm going to take this, open it up. Water, get that hole wider. And it's like, you can see in there, little, it's almost just like little brown. Not salt, a little bigger than salt. But I'm gonna dump the whole packet in here. And they will eat the sugar and the oxygen. And they will make CO2 and alcohol. But the CO2 is good for the plant. Eventually they'll settle to the bottom, the bubbles will come out, and then take this knife, poke a little hole in the top so that they never run out of oxygen, and there you go. It'll seep out, and I'll show you how to put it in your grow. Alright, and then you want to put your concoction like above your grow, because CO2 falls, so as it leaks out of here, as it builds up, it'll fall down here, down to the grow. And the more of these you make, the better. I'm just going to make one for now. But uh, the more you make, the better. And yeah, 
CO2 is good for your grow, and that's what plants breathe. So you're going to want to make a CO2 generator. I'll show you a few more methods for CO2 generation. Breathing is actually one. Just coming up to your plants and chilling with them and hanging out and breathing for a while actually raises the CO2 level quite a bit. So, uh, yeah. But that will be something so when I close the door, it can just build up in here. The fan can blow it around, and they can breathe it.